Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a Nordica Unleashed 98 for you today. This ski is a carryover from last season. It does get a new graphic update. They call this one the Ice Series, and then the women's version is known as the Tree Series. Uh, so we still have the same build in this ski as we've seen in the past. And for the most part, this is about as universal appeal as you're gonna get in terms of kind of this all mountain twin tip bordering on free ride ski. Pretty much everyone who gets on this, this thing totally loves it. There's a ton of versatility, excellent amount of performance, and it's still pretty friendly to be accessible for more you know, moderate skiers, someone who's moving from intermediate to advanced level. Uh, you know, they have some skills underfoot, but are still uh, looking to progress and improve. This ski has a whole lot to offer that type of skier, as well as you know, a very, very advanced or expert skier who's looking for something that's just very well-rounded, uh, has that twin tip shape, has that free ride mentality, floats well in soft snow, uh, and just is a blast all over the mountain. Uh, we do have their performance wood core in this ski, and then one sheet of terrain specific metal. Uh, we see this build in the Santa Ana skis where they use a single sheet of metal, but what they do is they uh, have cutouts along the sides, and the metal pretty much stays the same, but the wider the ski gets, the less metal there is uh, overall. So it is full width in the shovel and in the tail here, uh, as well as underfoot, and then it does kind of taper in in the, in the sides here uh, through the mid body and then through the back of the ski, kind of between the mount point and the very end. So there isn't a full metal sheet, but it is full length. So that's going to give it a great amount of stability and damping properties um, from tip to tail while allowing it to be a little bit more maneuverable and playful uh, in the center portions of the ski without giving up edge grip underfoot. And that's kind of what we've noticed about this 98 is that it has really, really good torsional stiffness uh, underfoot and really nice edge grip for being a 98 millimeter twin tip. So it does kind of punch above its weight in terms of carving performance. The fact that you can bend it does mean that you can really access the entirety of that side cut and turn radius. Um, but a really good way to build a ski, and we've loved it ever since it came out, for sure. Um, you know, it's because it has metal, it's on the heavy side. Uh, this is the 180. We're at 1,885 grams, so we're still south of the 2,000 gram mark that we see in, you know, the Enforcer series of skis, but definitely has enough heft to make it stable and powerful uh, for when those types of attributes are asked for. Um, in terms of shape, we do have an 18.1 meter turn radius in this ski, and that's about what would expect from this kind of free ride twin tip style. Uh, not too long, not too short. Uh, it does like to turn, so you know you can hit that 18 meter mark pretty easily in this length. Really, really fun. Kind of where it sets itself apart from Enforcer is in this profile, though. Um, what we're getting is a longer camber profile and then kind of more abrupt uh, bends at the end. Uh, while it's not as low and long in the, in the rocker as, in, as a similar Enforcer, Enforcer 100 for example, uh, opposing this 98, um, there's considerably more splay in the tips and tails, especially just kind of at the very end here. So Enforcer rocker definitely goes down a little bit lower um, and then this one kind of juts out at the very end. So it's a little bit of a different style in terms of the rocker and camber. And then, you know, we're definitely entering freestyle twin tip realm uh, with this type of splay in the tail, uh, not a ton of rocker. And that's kind of the way that freestyle skis have been for a while is that they don't include a whole lot of rocker so that you get that precision uh, at the beginning and the end of the turns. Um, without it being too catchy. So kind of mixing those two makes a lot of sense for this ski. Sure, you can use it as a park specific ski. It does have metal though. So, you know, you might find some people that would think that, um, you know, it's a, not quite as good as uh, a more poppy or more energetic ski with wood, wood carbon, some type of blend of that. But, um, you know, feel free to use it in the park. Definitely more of like that kind of uh, out of park freestyle uh, feeling I think works well for this Unleash 98. But really well-rounded ski, high-end feel, excellent carver. We've had a blast on it, 
each and every time we've been out on it. Uh, so make sure you check out this Nordica Unleashed 98 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.